now it's time for RTV 101, where we discuss practical questions to equip you to share your faith more effectively. And here to help me talk about a very important topic, the mag magnetic field of the earth is Dr. Jeff Swearing. Hi, Krista. It's good to be here. Glad to have you back. Now, we're going to get into a discussion about the age of the earth right. and, and the universe. So let's start with what does reasons to believe say about the age of the universe? Well, we, we, yeah. we think the scientists largely have the time scales right, that the universe is about 14 billion years old, the Earth is about four and a half billion years old, and humanity is on the order of 100,000 years old. So that's so the time scales that the scientists have, that's correct. That's, that's our position. Now, there are some Christians who take a different opinion about mm -hmm. that. They would say that the Earth is only thousands of years old. And one of the evidences they, that they use for that is something called the magnetic field of the Earth. So right. let's start to wade into that a little bit. What is their argument? Well, so to, a little bit of background. So the Earth uh, has a magnetic field. That's why, in fact, that's how we use our compasses. That's how we know what north is. Well, actually, before GPS, that's how we figured out what north was. Because you take a magnet, and uh, if you kind of exclude it from other influences, it will point north because the Earth has this magnetic field. So that's very useful for navigating. You're out in the middle of the ocean, want to know which way north is, can't see the stars. Compass will tell you that. Now, uh, back in the 1800s was the first time, you know, so you could put a magnet in a magnetic field that will point north, but about 1845 or so, we were actually able to measure the strength of the magnetic field. And what we found in the 100, 150 years since is that the magnetic field has been decaying. It's dropped off anywhere 5 to 10% uh, from that original measurement back in the 1800s. And so that kind of is the impetus or is the evidence, if you will, for this argument that the magnetic field of the Earth is decaying, it could only have been so large, therefore the Earth couldn't be any older than a few thousand years. So I think I understand. So when we started measuring the magnetic field, 1845, and, and to today, we see like, oh, it's decreased this much. Right. So if I work that mathematical number backwards, billions of years is too long, the magnetic field should have completely decayed by now. So therefore, the Earth must be only thousands of years old? Sort of, it's, it's more, it's like, okay, we see it decaying. And so you extrapolate that back and say, it couldn't have been much stronger than this value. So, you know, if you go back a few thousand years, that's not that large. If you go back a few billion years, if assuming that kind of just steady decrease, that would be this enormous magnetic field that's unphysical and couldn't happen. And so that's the, that's the line of reasoning. Okay. So help us begin to think about a, a response to this argument. Because on the surface, that sounds sort of somewhat compelling for no, me as a non-scientist. No, actually, you're right. I find a lot of these arguments seem compelling until you investigate a little more because the, the key in this is recognizing that the Earth's magnetic field isn't steady. So it's not like it was just really strong in the past and it's slowly been decaying. We're making this measurement and that tells us where we are. What we find is evidence that the Earth's magnetic field is actually increasing and decreasing and increasing and decreasing over time. And so we've got evidence uh, not the least of which is like evidence from the sea floor where we look at and find where the magnetic field is reversed. So we find it decaying and getting stronger in one direction, then growing and getting stronger in the other direction. And so that's the idea of a steady monotonic magnetic field is not what the evidence says. What the evidence says is that Earth's magnetic field flip-flops quite often throughout history. Oh, that's interesting. So rather than just being a steady decrease over time, it's it's a bit fluctuating. Yeah, I mean, if, if you were gonna be really extreme about it, and this is I'm a little bit obnoxious here, is we could say, you know, the Earth is no more than a few hours old because I went outside at three o'clock and I see the sun going down in the sky and I know it couldn't have been any higher than this and so that means the Earth is only about four hours old. Well, what that misses is that the sun goes up and it goes down and then it goes up and then it goes down. That's what's going on with the magnetic field as well. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, so, that leads me back to scripture. It makes me wonder, is there anything in scripture that would compel me to believe that the earth is only thousands of years old? You know, I don't think there is. Uh, there's nothing in scripture that talks about the magnetic field. That's a fairly recent discovery, if you will. Uh, but what I find is, as I've looked at Christians who, 
investigate scripture, hold scripture in high regard, you know, the authority and errancy of scripture and want to know what scripture has to say. And you'll find Christians who in that camp, who some who say the earth is young and a few thousand years old and others who say, no, I look at scripture and the best interpretation is that the earth really is much older than that. And so to me, that's a question that scripture doesn't answer, or rather the way I would say it is the fact that you've got Christians who know how to interpret scripture, who hold it in high regard, believe it's an errant, has authority, and who investigate it closely and they come down on different positions, that says that scripture isn't clear about what it is, in spite of what many young earth creationists who will say that, oh, it's very clear that these are meant to be 24 hour days in the earth a few thousand years old. So when I think about that, if, if scripture leaves that question open, then that, that makes me think I can go out into the record of nature and investigate and see what nature has to say about the age of the earth. And that can mm -hmm. kind of help me figure it all out and put all those pieces together. Well, and to me, that's just a really exciting prospect because I love understanding how things work. And so, um, you know, in scripture, there's this idea of the two books that scripture is God's revelation, but scripture tells us that God's revealed himself in creation. And so there are things that scripture doesn't give us the final answer, but it tells us, hey, go look at creation, understand what's going on, because that will tell you how God works, who he is and how he's done things as well. And as a scientist, that's just fascinating and a message that I'd Said, hey, let's go out and tell people about this. And that's a great segue to just motivating us to go share the gospel. We want to get people excited about studying both of God's books, the Bible and the record of nature. Absolutely. That's I, I, I just am, uh, I love being able to study both. And the fact that they tell me the same story, give me the same evidence and point to the same God is a, a powerful tool that there really is a God behind it all. Well, thanks for helping us understand about the Earth's magnetic field a little bit more. And I do want to encourage you, go check out Jeff's blog called Impact Events at Reasons.org.